Hi guys, Chuck here, KK6USY. Welcome to Ham Radio Adventures. Today we have the VinLab digital multimeter, the VM200M. Now this is a uh, pretty reasonably priced meter. I think it's under $10, around $10. So we're not gonna expect a ton of uh, precision with this, but uh, hey, for, most, for what most people do, this is probably just fine. Let's open up the box. Now I have opened the box already. And VinLab did supply this with me for a, in, in turn for a review and uh, a video of the product. It comes with your uh, your cables. Now these cables, they're a couple feet long. Let's see. Yeah, they're about two and a half feet long. Not the longest ones, but usually plenty long enough. Now it did come with batteries also. And here's the uh, multimeter. Let me get this out of here. This is the... Uh, the manual we'll take a look at that in a minute also let me get rid of this well that's actually let's look let's look at the manual first uh the vm 200m read and understand the manual before using this instrument that's a good thing to do probably with these things it has a bunch of safety stuff here and this is the u.s version okay features it has a display hold so that will hold your uh, readings when you have them there it has a backlight with a light button. It says when you're maintenance, when you're cleaning this, make sure you turn off the meter, remove all the test leads with a damp cloth and mild detergent. Okay, measurement. Now you, um, it has a, it looks like it has a battery display on there. It lets you know how, how charged your batteries are and where they need to be changed. So we have uh, DC voltage measurement, AC voltage measurement, uh, DC current measurement, resistance, I think this HFE is for um, transistors, a diode measurement, a continuity measurement. It does have the little uh, beeper. And I will tell you guys, I, I messed around with this just a little bit to kind of familiar myself with it. It be Every time you move the thing, it beeps. And it's kind of annoying, but sometimes it's not bad because I accidentally moved it one time uh, and it, I knew I did it because it beeped at me. So it's a 2000 count. Uh, maximum on the display takes two AA batteries and they were supplied I put them in already has a fuse so DV voltage here's your ranges here your AC voltage uh, here your DC current your resistance and again your uh, transistors and a diode and audible continuity now that I use that a lot guys <laughs> so let's turn this thing on let's look at let's look at this first here uh, let's actually let's get rid of this first here so. oh, that's better okay so it has a decent sized display we'll turn that on in a minute and uh, see how that is here's your hold button your light button your 10 amp your common and your voltage, your ohms and your milliamps. This is for your amperage, it'll do up to 10 amps. And then you have your, your uh, transistor tester here. Um, just a plastic body, guys. It uh, feels pretty good in the hand. It's a nice size. It does have this uh, stand in the back here, which is really hard to get open. I think it'll probably get better. So it'll stand up for you. And that works pretty good. We probably won't be using that for this though. It's it's really in there. It's not going to fall out. Here's where your batteries go. Okay, these are uh, shows 10 amps on here for your leads. You have your two leads. They have a cover. They don't have a cover on the end out here, or I didn't get any that I saw. But this cover does come off to give you a little more ex exposed area there. Uh, I don't think it's silicone wire. It's fairly pliable though. And you got your two ends down here. And I will say that these ends do fit in really nice and tight. So it goes in there and there. And then this is for your 10 amp for checking stuff. All right, let's go ahead and turn this thing on and let's just, uh, let's go down to the beat thing. That's the easiest one to do first. I don't know if you guys can hear this. You probably can though. Let me see where I'm at here. So we touch these together. Okay. 
So that would be handy for if you guys are if you guys are like hams, you have coax. So you, you want to make sure that you're that this and this don't don't uh, make noise. That should, and then this should. So quick easy check to see if you're uh, you're grounded out or anything there. Like it's not supposed to be. I've got some, I've got some little props here, guys. I don't have any of the fancy things to check things with, but I do have this. Let me pull this down just a little bit. I've got a 10 ohm resistor and a 2.2K. So let's just go to uh, let's go to let's go to 200 ohms and see what this thing if it'll read the 10. Okay, let's just see if this will read this. I think you see. I think you can see the screen. I'll touch those, and it shows 10 ohms. The next one is 2.2K. Okay, OL means overload. So we're going to go to 20K, and we should be able to read it there. 2.17. That's good. Now let's go back down to the beeper part again. I've got a little switch here, just a little, little momentary switch. All right, so what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to push down the bench. So I've got it in. There's no contact. Push it in. There's contact. So that works good. Perfect. Now I do have this little transistor, and that is the HFE part here. And is it in style? I think. So you stick that in there and it reads it. That's that's pretty cool. Pretty handy, I guess, for people that do a lot of transistor type works. Now I do have a diode here. Okay, it's supposed to be right here. And if it's open, there we go. We turn it around. And it's open. Okay, that works. Okay, let's all right, let's check some voltages. As you can see, here, as you can see right here, I have my voltage uh, DC power supply. We are on 0.2 volts, and it says 0.203, so that's not bad. Let's just turn it up a little bit. It takes it a while for it to uh, come out to actually level it off. So it says 3.4. We're too high now. Overload. So we got to go to 20. So we didn't hurt anything, 3.45, so it goes one more step, so that's pretty dang close. Okay, let's go up a little higher. We'll go 15.7, so it says 15.8. I did check it with another meter too, guys, and that's the, 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 the voltage on here is usually just a little low compared to what the uh, meters are showing. Okay. Let's uh, let's go above 20 now. So we're 42.2 and it says 42.4. Uh, 42.3, so 40, 42.4, so that's pretty close. Let's just max this thing out. So it's 52 and that says 52.1. So that works pretty good. Okay, let's see if the uh, let me turn it a little bit this way. Here's the light. The light's up nice. Makes it nice. This thing has a nice, nice big numbers. Easy to read, guys. So let me put some voltage back in it here. Okay, we'll push hold. Take the voltage off, and then there, there's how it holds. The leads are off, and it's still holding your voltage. And then to clear that, you just turn it off. All right. Let me see if I can find something for you guys that we can draw some power through and see if we can get some, some type of amperage on it. All right, let me, I'll be right back. So there's a little DC motor. It's uh, for little projects that I, I think just may have came off one of the kids' uh, little ATVs, you know, the battery operated ones. So we'll check this out. The, the motor's not the greatest, but uh, it says 12 volt motor. All right, we'll check that, see how much amperage it draws. 1.66, this battery's dying on me. It's a little nine volt battery, so 1.6, 1.5 amps. All right. So there we go, that works good. All right, let's just see what the voltage is on this little nine volt battery here. 
and it's 8.28 so it's getting down now if you guys want to purchase this i will have a link in the description below and uh, it should be a amazon link and that will actually help the channel you guys can help the channel with uh without having any extra cost to yourself i really appreciate that if you guys do buy these uh if, you, if you're interested in something like this you know it does help the channel Okay guys, uh, so who is this beater for? Well, this is not, if you're into really high-tech, super precision electronics and stuff, this is this is not the, uh, the meter for you, and it's not supposed to be. It's just a nice, affordable, easy to use multimeter. Like, I like to keep stuff like this in my motorhome, my, my box trailer, my Forerunner. I've got a little Forerunner, so it's old, it's an 87. And between this and a test light, you can test out a lot of stuff, especially on the older vehicles. Now, like I said, if you're gonna do something super, super precision, look, look elsewhere. I'm sure VinLab makes something that can do that too. Okay guys, if you're new here, uh, think about uh, subscribing and hit the bell, hit all, that way you get all my future videos. I'm Chuck, KK6USY. This is Ham Radio Ventures. Thank you guys for spending your time with me today. Hope you everybody's well, and uh, hope to catch you guys on the airwaves. 73 all.